most unions in the country have continued to mount pressure on government to have the wage freeze lifted as it is illegal. Though government has not announced that you to maintain the wage freeze in 2015, calls to have it lifted have intensified. It is for this reason that the Judicial and Allied Workers Union of Zambia has insisted that it will go ahead with the planned protest so that government can rescind its decision. Union President Peter Mwale says protesting is the best as meetings which have been held with government have been fruitless. Also to be very categorical that the protest that we want to stage is actually long overdue. Realizing we are getting to our structures on the ground in the judiciary, very soon we'll get back to you. We are going to mobilize and stage a protest so that we register our disappointment and displeasure on how government has handled this wage freeze thing. Mr. Mwale feels that it is unfair not to increase civil servant salaries when the cost of living has gone up. But Labor Minister Faxon Shamenda says nothing will be achieved by protesting, hence the need to use better ways of communication. Well, I think by, if, for people are free to protest, but uh, that antagonizes uh, the goodwill of the people they will be negotiating with. Protests don't achieve anything. You protest, then you go out, your members will ask you, what have you achieved for you, for us? Then they will tell you, no, this government is foolish, So, what, but what is in it for us? This is a stupid wage freeze. So the workers will be asking, what is in for us? So a good trade unionist should have the skills to negotiate. Trade unions say the wage freeze is illegal, as it is not backed by any law. Unions feel that the protest is the only sure way to have the imposed wage freeze lifted. Now Mingandu, Movie TV News, Enosaka.